hello students in last lecture of this principle working and use of ph meter we have seen all basics about ph now in this second video we will study about the actual instrument that is ph meter see this is the whole set of ph meter and this second diagram it is about the parts of ph meter so this is the display unit here then here these are the electrodes that is reference electrode and glass electrodes and here all these parts these are differently shown so these two diagrams these are about the actual instrument which is used to check or to measure the ph of a given solution and these instruments are nothing but the ph meter now in this okay topic i already told here that ph meter it is the instrument which is used to measure the hydrogen ion concentration of the solution which indicates the acidity or basicity of that particular solution and this ph of that particular solution it is indicated by this symbol this one that is known as the ph then the second point is here about ph meter that is so this is the solution having the ph value 1 is called as acidic solution or generally it is highly acidic in nature and the solution which has the ph value of 14 it is highly alkaline or it is highly basic solution then the solutions having more h plus ion concentration it is highly acidic and the solutions which has more oh negative ion it is highly basic or highly alkaline solution then in this next slide we will see just in last slide we have shown here that is the diagram which shows the whole set of that ph meter and the parts of ph meter now here we will see the different parts of ph meter so as i already told here that ph meter it consists of a volt meter which is attached to a ph responsive electrode because whatever that electrodes are there that electrodes they gives response according to the ph so that's why these are called as ph responsive electrode and here one electrode which is called as the measuring electrode so that electrode one is here that is the measuring electrode and it is a tube which is made up of glass it is made up of glass and it consists of a thin glass with a glass bulb it consists of a thin tube or glass with a that is glass bulb which is filled with a chemical that is potassium chloride which has the ph of 7 that potassium chloride which is present in the glass bulb it has ph 7 and it also consists of a silver block uh, that is block of silver chloride which is attached to a silver element and it generates the voltage then it is used to measure the ph of the unknown solution then the second electrode of this ph meter is reference electrode so the second electrode is reference electrode here and this reference electrode it is also a glass tube which consists of a potassium chloride solution that reference electrode it consists of potassium chloride solution and it is in contact with the mercury mercury chloride block which is present at the end of potassium chloride and this reference electrode it is used to provide a stable zero voltage connection this is the main purpose here and that is because of which there is a complete circuit will be power then the next slide about this is so the next one so this is the whole that two electrodes and that display unit is here see these are the two electrodes of that ph meter one is called as the say this is known as glass electrode here this is called as the glass electrode this one is glass electrode here and this is called as the reference electrode so these two electrodes which plays the important role in the ph meter for the which is used for measurement of ph so these are the uh, two electrodes here and this is the day just yes, display unit or so here auxiliary cable then 
end cap then here this tube it is filled with the solution called as potassium chloride having the ph 7 so it is it has the ph 7 then this is the outer body of that electrode here and this round portion it is called as the that is glass bulb which is or which consists of AgCl or silver chloride then this is the second electrode of pH meter that is known as reference electrode now here also there is an end cap is there then back seal then it is filled with this potassium chloride solution then here at here there is a presence of mercury chloride or HgCl and this is the liquid junction that is of porous ceramic so this is the diagram it shows the parts or that two electrodes of the pH meter see the next point is that is see this principle of pH meter now we know that that pH meter is used to measure the pH of a given solution but how this pH meter it measures the pH so that is nothing but we will see here principle of pH meter so on which criteria on which basis this pH meter is working that is the principle of pH meter now this pH meter it actually measures the voltage between that two electrodes that is glass electrode and reference electrodes and it displays the result of that pH voltage that is relates to the corresponding pH value then this glass electrode and reference electrode or sometimes there is a both electrodes are present here that is called as the combination electrode and they are inserted into the solution of which that pH is to be tested so the solution of which the pH is to be tested in that solution these two electrodes are immersed and after immersing these electrodes in this solution that H plus ions in the test solution they exchange for other positively charged ions present on the glass bulb so there is an exchange takes place between this H plus ions of the solution and H plus ions or positively charged ions present on the glass bulb then this amplifier it detects the difference in electric potential between the two electrodes and that different get converted into potential different convert the potential difference to that is the pH unit that difference or that potential difference then it is converted into pH unit that is by the amplifier so in this way there is a uh, measurement or measurement of the pH now the next point is that is calibration of pH meter calibration means here key whether that pH meter is actually or correctly measuring the pH or not that we have to see so that's why that process it is called as the calibration of pH meter so that pH meter it requires calibration for the accurate pH readings so before calibration of pH meter make sure that the correct measurement mode is selected before the starting of calibration means before starting calibration of the uh, any buffer solution for example you have to make sure that whether there is a correct measurement mode is selected or not then wash the electrode with distilled water and do not wipe it then after that you have to wash that electrodes both electrodes with distilled water then next step perform the five point calibration by using standard buffers of pH 1.68 7 10 and 12.45 or 14 so that later on we can uh, uh, check the ph of that buffer solution or calibrate we can we can calibrate that ph meter by using this five different uh, buffers of different ph or we can use here two buffers also so in this case you have to dip the electrode completely into the calibration buffer for example if you are taking buffer 5 or 4 for example you have, to, you have to immerse or dip that electrode completely into the that buffer then steer that electrode in that buffer because of which that homogeneous mixture will be formed then press the cal that is calibration or measure key to enter pH calibration mode that is you have to set that pH meter on this calibration mode and that ca calibration indicator will be shown after selection of that 
calibration mode then in next slide wait for the measured ph value to be stabilized after selection of that calibration mode that just that ph meter starts to measure the ph of that buffer and you have to wait for some time till the ph of that buffer solution becomes stable then press hold or enter key to confirm calibration and that ph meter is now calibra calibrated to the current buffer suppose if you are using the buffer of ph 4 then after that that after immersing that both electrodes in that buffer solution having ph 4 and after selecting that calibration mode that ph which is displayed on that ph meter it should be stable at ph 4 that is then and then we can say that here that ph meter is calibrated to the current buffer or the selected buffer solution then after calibration rinse the electrode with distilled water and place it in another buffer solution now you have to repeat the same procedure for another buffer in first process here you have selected that ph4 or buffer solution of ph4 now you have to select buffer solution of ph5 and that same process will be repeated so in this way that ph meter is calibrated and in next step that is how that ph can be measured of a given solution so here so press on to switch on ph meter so you have to press on that on switch on the ph meter to start or to switch on the ph meter then rinse that electrode with distilled water to remove any impurities which get adhered to the electrodes then again completely immerse this glass bulb or that electrodes in the solution or that nutrient media to check the ph of given solution then again steer steer that probe gently so the sample become homogeneous in nature then in next step allow some time to stabilize the reading after immersing that electrodes in that given solution of which the ph is to be tested then wait for some time so that the reading becomes stable then record after sta stability of that reading or after stabilization of that reading record the observed values of the ph and that will be your final ph of that solution or that media then wash the electrode in deionized de water after use and store it in storage solution or buffer solution till next time so this is about the all about that ph meter its principal working and use and friends if you have any doubt regarding this ph meter then we will meet in a discussion forum because this discussion forum it is specifically for clearing the doubts of students if there is any confusion if there is any doubt then we will meet in this discussion forum thank you